Hi, and welcome to CCP 1311 College Chem. So this is a college course from Sinclair Community College, and we are gonna follow their basic curriculum. Now, it's very, very, very important to remember that this is a college course, therefore it is pretty quick. The material is not too hard, but the pacing is very fast, and that's probably gonna be the biggest obstacle. What I'm gonna show you in this video is basically how to use the Moodle website, how to even get to the Moodle website. Now, if you're watching this, clearly you already know how to get there, but still. Just so you are aware, before we actually log on to Moodle, you can always just go to OsborneScience.com, if I can spell it. And on this website, you can get some basic information about the class. So as it takes forever to load because the school internet is super slow today. Here it comes. Basically on the welcome page, there's not going to be too much information. Essentially, it's just going to have various memes. Here's how you can follow on Twitter where I'll just update saying when assignments are going to be due. But basically, here's a quick shortcut to get to Moodle. You can just click this link down here to reach Moodle. Or you can type in osbornescience.com slash Moodle. And that will take you there as well. Before I do that, though, I do want to show you some stuff that will be on this website, specifically over here in the College Chem, CCP College Chem. Now, the material, if you look at it now, technically is last year's, so this will need to be updated. But on here, you will see our syllabus. This is everything that we are going to be doing each week. So it tells you what week, when it, that week begins, what material we're going to cover, and what chapters from the textbook. And again, it talks about how you have to read these chapters before the start of the week. At the bottom, it will tell you what labs we have to do that week. These are the specific labs that Sinclair says we have to do. Now, it's important to note that we will do other labs besides just these 14. So there's one lab per week that we must complete. Now, there's two labs here for like Thanksgiving. We're not going to have a lab that week. And then the very last week, we won't have a lab. Also, it's important to remember that school is about... 19 weeks long the first semester whereas Sinclair is only 16 weeks so we will have a couple weeks where we'll have additional time to cover more material in depth if there's any questions about it and it gives us time to also make up any labs if we need to all right with that being said let's go back to the welcome page again you can either click the link to reach Moodle or I can just do Osborne actually I'll just do that show you the whole thing uh, www.osbornescience.com slash Moodle takes me here there we go so I click login at the top right which again if you're watching this you already did I'm gonna be mr. test student let's see if I actually typed in the password yay now again Usually when you log in, you'll get this screen which shows you what class you need to go to. Most of the time, um, this will be the only class you would see. And then sometimes if you log in, it'll automatically take you right here to this uh, website where you do not even need to click the CCP 1311. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Now, right at the top here would be the link to this video, and then everything else would be grayed in, kind of like how these are all grayed in, which means you don't have access to them yet. In order to get access to each section, you must complete the previous section. So in order to get to the introduce yourself, you would have to have watched this video. But as soon as you're done watching this video, you would have unlocked introduce yourself. Now, if you just hit backspace, it'll still be locked. Uh, to fix that, just hit refresh and then you'll be okay. But anyways, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna click introduce yourself. And basically, all you're going to do is create an introduction to say who you are, because many of you I've never had as a student. I may know who you are, but I've never had you as a student. So introduce yourself, and then say one thing you plan to do or that you did this summer. And then you need to reply to at least two people. So it's very important. You cannot go to the next part until, one, that you create an introduction. Two, that you reply to two other people. So all you're going to do to create your introduction is click Add New Discussion Topic. For the subject, you type whatever you want. You can type your name, type whatever you want. If you want to be silly, be silly. 
Next, I just want to show you how to do this. Usually, it doesn't matter. Okay, it required. Uh, hello. There we go. For this part, this is where you type in the majority of your writing. So just blah, 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 blah. Okay. These tools here are pretty self-explanatory. This tool lets you put in, put in a picture. This one lets you put in a video. This one lets you put in an attachment. Odds are you're really not going to use these too often. These allow you to insert website links. Like if I wanted to take this and then turn this phrase right here into a website, I could like if I said click, that's not click, click here. And I want to make the here a link. I can do that by highlighting the word and then clicking this and then I can insert the website. Clearly these are buttons or tab, not buttons or tabs, wow, bullet points, or you can make them numbered instead. Italicize, bold. This changes the size of the font. Now, this part right here, oh, no, get rid of you, bye, is the most important part. Once you click this, this is where you can underline stuff, and the most important ones are right here, how to add subscripts and superscripts. So later in chemistry, you'll have to write formulas, like chlorine. But chlorine is a diatomic, which we'll talk about later. So I need to put a subscript to there to show that there's two of them. So I would click this little subscript button, and then I could put my two. So you see that goes all down there. Later on, may, I may need to add a charge, or I may need to add a superscript. Like let's say I'm doing some algebra, and I want to say x squared. So I go to here, and I type in this superscript. Then I can put the numbers in, or letters, or whatever. So these are very important. Again, subscript superscript and then to get rid of it you just click it again and then it goes back to normal these let you indent again not going to use too often these will let you put in certain characters again not super important for this class but again you can put in greek letters here if i click this one this is where i can add air Ooh, what the there it goes i can add arrows if i need to put arrows which is actually very important for uh, chemical reactions this again if i need to do some math stuff Greek symbols, advanced, again, these are math. You will never use this ever, not in for Moodle for this class. But so that gives you an idea of how to type everything. Boom. Okay, let's just go back. So again, leave page. As soon as I create an introduction, as soon as I reply to two other people, which if you're the very, very first person to do this, the only two people you can reply to is myself and test student. But beware, test student's kind of a jerk. Then you will unlock parts of an atom notes. So you'll click that and it should open a PDF. Now it's very important that you can open PDFs with your computer. If you can't, you need to find somewhere that can. So these are the notes you go through. Then it'll unlock the video, so on, so on. Then you get to the questions. So then you can click this to download the, the section from a textbook. So you're going to read the PDF file and then answer the questions. And then to answer those questions, which whoop, popped up. Let's see if it popped up. Let's open it. Parts of an atom. There it is. So this is actually copied from one of the textbooks. You just read through it, and it will tell you, answer questions 16 and 18. So here's question 16. We don't have to do 17. Scroll down. Here's question 18, question 19, etc. Where do I put those? Well, you need to add. Well, I've already. Down here should be a thing where it says submit answers. Clearly, I've already submitted one from as the student, so I can't submit anything else. See, I've already submitted for grading. But you would submit it down here, and then you just type in the answers, and then you click submit, and then I can grade it. So that's the essential idea of how to use Moodle. If you have any questions, please feel free to email at my work email, which is, I don't think it's on here, but it's mosborn at sbepschools.org. If you don't know how to find that, again, you can just go to the school website and find that. I do check my work email pretty much every day because I have, usually I always have questions from kids who are on Moodle who are confused on either how to answer a question or how to use Moodle. So please let me know if you're stuck at any point. And that's pretty much it. So welcome to Moodle. Welcome to CCP College Chemistry. Again, it's very important that you understand that this is a class that pretty much you have to take in college anyways. 
no matter what your major is, everyone has to take a, a laboratory science in college. Now, if you plan to go into a STEM field, science, technology, engineering, or mathematics, it's very, 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 very highly recommended that after you finish this course this year, you move on to CCP chemistry 12, uh, it's 1211, which is general chemistry. And it sounds weird. It's like general college. General chemistry is actually the much, much, much harder version. College chemistry is like the introduction to chemistry. But again, both of those are for college credit, but the general chemistry does count for people who plan to major in a science field. This college class counts for uh, science for college for pretty much any other major. If you're going to go to business, if you're going to go into finance, which is business, I'm trying to think, photography, uh, design, if you're going to go into some kind of political science, then this class counts. Again, Everyone, no matter what your major is, has to take a laboratory science. So this is an easy way just to get it done and over with as early as possible in high school. Thanks.